met one of the owners, uh, was asked to go pick up a bag of did that. And then all of a sudden, like I was let in there all the time dancing like, oh, dude, it's so crazy. Then I met the owners of an Italian modeling agency who um, uh, wanted to make me a model. And I never thought I was attractive. I was an ugly duckling. You know, my mother always said that she didn't want me. Like I had such a negative self image of myself that yeah. these people wanted to make me a model. I'm like, really? I was underage. So my mother signed me away to the Italians. So, okay. So you were back in contact with your mother yes. at this point? Yes. Well, because I was doing well, you know, I mm -hmm. had a job, I had somewhere to stay and, oh, I even remember that. Um, so with Carter Stevens and his wife, there was a club called, oh my God, famous in New York. Help, help, help. It's the most famous club in New York. Help. I do not know. Uh, uh, I should Google it. But if anybody knows, definitely tell us at some point. Ernie, can you Google it? Oh yeah. Okay. Most famous club in New York. Like in the 80s. Back, back in the 80s. So I ended up going there with them and my mother. Yes, dude. Mm. So I was off in a room, I think probably smoking a joint and drinking. And there was like a, like a, what's that thing called? A Petri dish of semen. Uh, a uh, <laughs> Petri dish of semen? Yeah, it was like uh, a jacuzzi thing. Like, but it was oh. massive. <laughs> It was massive. And just people doing who knows what in it. I like literally I thought it was like a bowl of cum. I was like, no. okay. No, it was fun. a fucking, it was like a pool of cum. It was just crazy. Did so, you find it? Yes. Oh my God. Plato's retreat. Yes. Yes. I actually went you, to Plato's Ernie, retreat. Ernie, you win a prize. <laughs> with my mother. That is creepy as fuck. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so at some point she signed me away to the Italians they sent me to a farm in Maryland. How old are you now? I don't know, 15. Okay, yeah. still? Yeah, okay. Like 14, 15. This okay. was like in those, okay. a lot happened to me in those fucking two years. Yeah. Um, went to Maryland. They had a model farm where they would find un undiscovered new models. Um, and then they would send you to this farm in Maryland, which was like going home since I was born in Maryland. And they would have... I think they had like four photographers, four makeup artists and four models. And so everybody would switch every day. You would do this makeup artist, this photographer, and they would build your portfolio with the aim that they then send you to Milan to their agency, which is a very famous agency, the biggest agency in Milan at the time for modeling. Um, and then they send you there and you sign a contract and basically they, oh my God, what was it? I think that they were supposed to get like, 40% of everything I made for the rest of my life. It was like some kind, yeah, it was some kind of crazy ass thing. And my mother signed me away because I was underage and I had to leave the country and go to mm -hmm. Milan. So um, it was basically, for me, it was a scam. Uh, other women, I don't know if they were really sent to model, but I was sent to be sex trafficked. And I was, uh, I got to Milan, um, I was, put in like whenever you're a model and you travel to Europe, your agency usually covers your apartment and you pay it back through your work. And mm -hmm. you know, they set you up and cause you're in a foreign country, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And then they, you know, bill you back through your jobs. Mm -hmm. So they had a pension ready for me. I had like one or two other models in it, whatever. Um, when I got there, there were two playboys sitting at my dining room table. Hello, we're here to welcome you. Yeah, no, they had keys to the fucking apartment, dude. And it was basically, you know, and one of the girls was fucking one and, you know, I, I don't know. So you were expected to have sex with these guys? No, nobody tried to have sex with me, with those guys. We were taken to parties and stuff like that. And uh, specifically, um, I don't really remember much. It's so fucking long ago, but I do remember waking up tied to a bed with the editor of a massive magazine's cock in my mouth. And he, and, and, and I fucking flipped out. He let me go. I don't, I think he drove me back to my pensioni. I flipped out, was like. Were you, had you been drinking? Did he roofie? Okay. All yeah, right. Of course. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah.
Um, yeah, it's not like I passed out and woke up in his bed. I he was gonna he was driving me home from some party that everybody was at, and we had to stop by his house first. Right. Exactly. And then he was like, "Hey, do you want to drink?" And then all of a sudden, I just woke up and I yeah, was yeah. like tied up. So he let me go. He took me back. I literally like frantically went into this modeling agency office screaming I was raped blah 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 blah. by the time I got in there that guy was in the office with the owner they were chatting and then later that night I was literally taken from my bed put on a plane back to New York City wow mm -hmm. then I was stuck you know I don't need I was put into a hotel that other models lived in, including models that were with their agency. And it's called the Tudor Hotel. And the guy that owned it was in cahoots with those other Milan guys. So I lived there for a couple of months. Um, nothing weird happened. Uh, I just remember- Were you still it. doing like modeling gigs and No, stuff? I had no modeling gigs. Like I never did a modeling gig, dude. But I had this portfolio. Mm -hmm. So- one day and Wilhelmina models was literally down the street from this hotel and one day i just walked myself into Wilhelmina models for an open call mm -hmm. with my portfolio and literally they scooped me up they fucking sent me right back to europe um and then this agency the italian agency got word that i was in paris oh and i was slaying it i had covers i had magazines i was on billboards i was doing this and they reared their heads and they contacted Wilhelmina, and they're like yeah, you know, she's under a contract, a lifelong contract with us. And you guys actually owe us 40% of her back money. And she, and they're like, really? Well, you um, sex trafficked her underage to Milan and had her raped and then sent her back. So l let's go for it. Like you want to oh, come so after They us? protected you. Oh yeah. They're like, you want to come after her? We'll go after you. And they disappeared. I never heard from those motherfuckers again. Wow. And part of my modeling thing was I would never step foot in Milan ever. Wow. Never. Never went back. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year-long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.